Hello, hello. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Um, I'm going live on Instagram too. So, I'm just getting connected there and then I will get started. I'm so excited. Hi! I'm dual casting. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Instagram, you're on my headphones, so I'm hoping you can hear me. In Facebook, you are on the microphone. So, I'm really excited to bring to you the first thrift haul Thursday. My intention is to do this every Thursday at 2 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So, you can see what I have in my vault. Um, I've got so much vintage, and I'm really excited to bring them to you. And so, not rules, but if you see something you like or you want to learn more, a little bit more about it, just drop it in the comments. I may not reply to it right away or answer on video, but I will get back to you. And whoever's comments first, if you comment about it first and you want it, you will get first pick. And then um, invoices do need to be paid within 24 hours or else it will go to the next person. So make sure if you really want it that you get dibs on it. So um, I don't go live on Facebook very much. Hi, Carly. So I don't know where I see comments and all that. I'm going to expand video. Oh, there's comments. Oh, gosh, Facebook is so different now. I'm not on it very often. I'm usually on Instagram, and but I, I enjoy being on it, so I want to share here a little bit more too. So say hello when you hop on, and I'm just going to hop to it because I don't want to take up too much of your time. I've got a huge pile of clothes, some jewelry, a little bit of home decor. Um, this is from several thrift hauls. I haven't, it's just been piling up in my trailer. I haven't done um, much with them so I'm really excited to show you what I have so I'll do probably clothing last because that's bigger and I'm just going to show you the first thing here is this vintage mug I love the wheat on there and Japan on the bottom that's usually how you know it's vintage as well because not a lot of things that we have here in the US is made in Japan anymore so just so you can get a view of that I'm gonna make sure I get both of those. I'm not going to say prices or anything so because I haven't determined them yet. I haven't priced them yet. So if you want something, just let me know and I'll let you know how much it is. Um, maybe I'll be a little bit more organized next time. I was on a uh, coaching call right before this. So I was just trying to hurry to get on here with you guys. So um, this is just a really gorgeous gold necklace, which is super in. It's just a big link, big chain. And then this brass bracelet, it's got little um, like nub details. I'll make sure I show it on both. So pretty, it's just a bangle bracelet. Super cute. And then another necklace here. Most of the jewelry I pick up nowadays is gold tone. I used to say I didn't like gold jewelry or it didn't look good on me, but I love it. This necklace is, looks like, Nikon, N-I-K-K-E-N. I thought maybe it was an Avon one, but it's not. So this one, if you can see, it's just got little links in between. Very pretty. I can sh put it on and kind of show you the length. This one does have an adjustable, so you can adjust the length. Oops. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. Um, am I keeping this? Oh my gosh, so cute. And then we've got this big chunky. This one does have clip-on earrings that match. Um, I would give them with the necklace, but I don't know if you want. Um, this is Anne Klein. Nice brand. So I'll just show you this real quick. It's almost like, um, if you can see, it's like an etched well, hey everybody that's hopping on if you see something you like or want just comment below and I will let you know um, more details about it or how much it is this one's a little bit adjustable for the length so there's three different um, links that you can put the toggle through and then it does have the Anne Klein little 
metal tag here. So that is really pretty. That looks super cute with the chunky sweater. So again, I may not reply back to your comment right away, but I will get back to you. These earrings I loved because they reminded me of disco balls, but they're gold, gold tone anyways. So they're about that big. And how pretty are those? I love how they catch the light like a disco ball. Just a nice, simple statement earring. I'll put one on so you can kind of see what it looks like. How pretty. Love it. Okay, what else do we have? We have a couple more earrings here. So these are just a plastic 80s elongated heart. They're like a teal color, and you can see it's just a very subtle heart shape. So those are plastic. And then apparently I'm really drawn to hearts because I find myself buying a lot of heart earrings. They just are like totally 80s for me. So these are like... Um, a cream color. I would say they're resin, not plastic. And then this wire metal detail. I'll get it a little closer on each one. So it's got that like ridge detail and this is like silver wire. You could say it's a leaf too. It's kind of leafish. I'll show you what this looks like so you can kind of get an idea of the size. Super cute. Okay, then we have these Art Deco earrings. These are so cute. So they're like a jade color, probably resin, and then two little rhinestones on them. So I love the shape of them. So it's got like that ridge right there, and then the two, there's a rhinestone on each side. So cute. Let me give you an idea of what those look like on. So the green is a little bit opaque and see-through. It's on two different levels, so I want to make sure. Very simple, but you can see that little bit of rhinestone in there. Super cute. Hello to everybody that's hopping on. I'm not really looking at views or comments as of yet, but if you have a question or anything else about a piece, just let me know. And then, of course, brass. So that's it for jewelry. Let me double check. Yes, that is it for jewelry. My biggest pile is clothes. So this brass little vase made in India, which most of the stuff um, like this is, they do a lot of hand etching and stuff. This one doesn't have any etching on it. It's just kind of a simple, this is about how tall it is, simple brass vase. And then of course, a candlestick. So most of this I can ship out. If I do have anything that's bigger, um, obviously that will be for locals only, but if you see something and you are not local to here, I'd be happy to ship out as well. So just this simple brass, candle holder. I was seeing if it said made in India on it. I don't see that, but so it's got this little ridge on the finger hole. And I'll even include this vintage candle. Okay, there's that. If you like the Flintstones, here's the Flintstones. Dude, this is Pizza Hut on it. Like they gave them out from there or something. So it's got Wilma on there. It says 1986, Hanna-Barbera. I don't have any other um, character glasses as of right now, but this is Wilma. It's like the little kids. Oh, it's Flintstone Kids, so it's not like a Wilma adult. It's Wilma Kids. So cute. And then probably one of my favorites, Diets Are For Losers. 
and I'm sure they're referring to losing weight, but I just think it's hilarious. And I'm not here for diets. I am for eating healthy, but not for diets. So just a regular mug. I love the total uh, 80s, 90s vibe it has with the wording. And then just this cute little pot. Let's see. That one also has Japan on the bottom. You could put a plant in there. You could make it into a candle, a catch-all whatever you want to use. It's got these two little cute little handles here. Super cute. Okay. I also have these amazing sunglasses. Oftentimes when I find vintage sunglasses, they're way too scratched up. I tried to look up a, a recipe to repair that and some of them are pretty imparable, irreparable. I don't know. So these ones are actually pretty good. Around the edges, there's a little bit of scratching, but I love the look of them. They say made in China, so I'd probably say like early 90s. So it's got tortoise shell and then the metal right there, and then again at the earpiece. Um, how amazing are these? I'd probably say for a narrower, smaller face, but super cute. Loving these. Okay, now we're going to get into, I've got a couple bags here. So this will just be, this would be really cute for like going to the beach or going to the farmer's market or something like that. It does have a little bead here and then some seagrass over here to loop over that and keep it closed. Really cute. No pockets inside, but it's just nice and big and open. I don't think they meant to do that. Somebody sent a request to join my live. I'm not sure they meant to do that. Um, so this is just like a seagrass bag. It's the perfect size. It's not too big. I love that. And then I have this. So I would say this is made out of wool. Um, and then the handle is made out of yarn woven. So this is another bag. You could, I honestly think you could probably fit a laptop in here, a couple notebooks. It doesn't have a, a clasp or anything like that, but it's got this awesome yarn tassel with the brown bead right here and then the twisted yarn handle. So cute. And no pockets on the inside, just one big pocket, but definitely perfect for a couple notebooks or something like that. Just a perfect little shoulder bag. So cute. Okay. Then I have an afghan here. So I love this mustard color. Actually, this might be more of a scarfish, or you could throw it over the back of the sofa. So this is about how long it is. A little taller than me, I'm 5'5", five five. and to show you the detail on it, oh my gosh love that so this is like a cable stitch I don't know what that other stitch is called and then it has the tassels on the bottom could totally oh I gotta get down for Facebook you could totally even wear it as a scarf how cute is that oh my gosh um I swear I always want to keep everything I get so there's that a scarf or sofa throw, whatever you want to use it for. And then, oh, I've got one more bag here. So this is a straw tote. Um, hasn't made in China, but it's not like your typical made in China tag. I don't know if you can see that. So it does have one zippered pocket on the inside and then two snap closures. No designs on the outside, but very just simple 
straw tote. So cute. Love it. So we've got that. Okay, now we're going to get into clothing. Sizes might be a little, I mean, if you worn or know vintage clothing, the size on the tag is never going to be today's sizing. So like in a lot of the vintage clothing I wear, like a size 14 and I'm like a six in today's clothing. So these are gorgeous. I haven't tried to squeeze my feet into them yet. They're eight and a half made in Italy. Um, Sudini brand. It's like the softest leather. Look at these boots. They, the calf does look to be pretty wide. I can try to put these on. It's got a pretty low heel. There's on the bottom, made in Italy, eight and a half. The B is the width, so that's fairly narrow. Let's see if I can fit these. So I'm a nine, and I would see these are a true eight and a half because they are a little tight for me. But, oh my gosh, and then look at the back. So it's got this tie all the way up the back. So cute. It goes really well with sweats, don't you think? Oh my gosh, I love the color. It's like a cognac caramel color. There is, I mean, very minimal signs of wear. I don't see any like major scratches or anything like that. These look pretty well taken care of. So made in Italy, size eight and a half boots. I love the tie detail on the back. So cute. Okay. I'm If I'm going a little fast for you, it's just because I don't want these lives or videos to be too crazy long. I mean, I definitely value your time. I might have to angle this up a little bit and then move that right there. That might work a little bit better than your more. Okay, so this dress is handmade. It's absolutely gorgeous. It has a zip all the way up the back, lace overlay. How gorgeous is that? So it's got like a v-neck neckline. And then the open lace detail on the sleeves with the cuff. It's like a cream, let's see, a cream gold underneath. And then it has that same detail on the cuff with some buttons. Um, they do button. They're just not buttoned right there. They does have, they're not faux. It does have buttonholes. Honestly, I... <laughs> I seriously think this could be used as a more laid back boho wedding dress. Um, it's smaller than me, so I would say, I don't know, extra small, a two. I'd have to measure it for sure, but it's so gorgeous and it's handmade. The details look impeccable, so it does have like pleats by the bust. Probably not for a super busty, but it also has this down the back. It's got pleats all the way down, like whoever made this knew what they were doing. So pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, so we've got that. And then this. So I'll give a close up of the floral detail. This is just a casual spring summer dress. It does have the tie in the back so you could cinch it against the waist to make it a little bit more form fitting or just leave it open. Zipper all the way down. Let's see. The tag's not in it so I can't say for sure what size it is. But I'd probably say medium. Like, um, this would fit me. Hits me right below the knees. I'm 5'5". Five five. Sleeveless. 
that floral detail. So cute. I had to take that to Arizona. Okay, and then I've been super into trousers lately. So I'm going to show you all these, and then next week I want to help you or style some of these to show you, like, how cute it can be. So, like, these say a size 12. Definitely not a size 12. So, just like a wide leg. They probably fit me, though. I haven't tried them on yet. A wide leg, high waist trouser. These would be really cute with, like, a crop top, a crop sweater, a bodysuit. Um, even an oversized sweater that you kind of tucked in in the front would be really cute. It does have elastic in the waist. A really pretty cream color. And then I've got an olive green color one. These are a little bit bigger than those other ones. These say a size 8. I'd say probably 6. But I love that olive green color. And then it does have elastic in the waist on the back. So same thing. I would wear these high-waisted with some either pointy toe flats or some booties. If you wore them with booties, you could roll up the ankle ham so it just sits right on top of where the booties stop. But the olive green color is my jam. Okay, now we have a corduroy dress, a teal green. This one's a little bit bigger, so it'd be a little, um, it says extra large, which I would say that's pretty true to size. You could wear this as is. You could wear um, a form-fitting long sleeve underneath it or a turtleneck would be really cute. It's got the front pockets. And then the buttons, um, they button all the way down. They're not faux. Green or tealish corduroy. And then the back. Super cute. And then on the sleeve here is a button. A real one. They don't do those faux ones back in the day. This is so cute. I love it. Extra large on that one. Then we've got this big chunky sweater. This is wool, it feels. It's pretty heavy. So you'd probably want to wear like a camisole or something underneath it because it might be a little itchy, but so cute. Especially like with one of those trousers. You could do it with the cream trousers and do like a monochromatic look. Maybe next time I'll wear something so I can try. So you do these high-waisted and then kind of tuck in the sweater. Oh my gosh, how cute. And then like a pop of color in the shoes. Be really cute with the olive green ones too. So just a big, chunky wool sweater. It's super thick, pretty oversized. I mean, I'd say medium to extra large, but even small could wear it oversized and then I've got a couple slips so these are slip skirts I do have some new ones in the shop too um, they're really pretty dusty pink color but I love vintage ones too obviously because they always add a little bit of detail so this one's got just a little bit of um, detail on the hem and then if you can see it's got like this line detail in the fabric. It's very subtle. This is pretty small. I would say extra small for this one. I love slip skirts because they're a little bit more dainty, but then when you pair them with something um, chunk like a chunky sweater or like a leather blazer or something, these are really cute. So I've got this one and then this one's a little bit bigger but I love this detail in the front. Look at that lace detail, it's so pretty. It's got a little bow and then a slit with the lace on each side. 
and I would probably say small for this one. Really cute. I, th I think I say that after every single one. Okay, this one. Leather skirt. Let's see, made in Canada. It says size 12. Um, does not seem like it would fit me. So I'd say probably four, size four. So leather skirt, this is the front. And then in the back, it does have a small slit, snap and zipper closure. It is lined. As you can see on the inside that it's lined. These would be really cute with like fleece or sweater tights, some boots, and a big chunky sweater. I just, I love the look of leather. I won't buy it new, but I will buy it vintage. Okay, now we've got another big oversized sweater with like a cowl oversized turtleneck. So this could uh, not quite dress length, unless you're like totally down with the shorter hem. Um, just a basic knit, extra long uh, sleeves, so you could, I love the look of it rolled up. I think that just makes it a little bit more polished. Just a basic cream oversized turtleneck. Not quite a cowl neck, I guess. Just kind of a chunkier, oversized turtleneck. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at these trousers. How 70s are those? It does have elastic in the waist. I always test the elastic when I'm buying clothing because oftentimes you'll stretch it and it'll stay, especially because, I mean, elastic just gets worn, but this one still has some spring to it but it is smaller I don't know I'd say maybe two or four a small but oh my gosh how freaking cute would these be with some booties and even just like a crop sweater or a fitted bodysuit underneath I love it. I love that design. That's like just totally 70s. Okay, how are we on time? Oh, we're doing good. Okay. Then the skirt, it's a linen blend. 55 linen, 45 cotton. It says size 10. You guys, you can clearly see that is not a size 10. I'd say a four, maybe. Um, but this is just like a longer pencil skirt, not really a maxi skirt. It does have a slit right here and it's just this really pretty green color. It does have belt loops if you wanted to wear it with a belt. And then if you wear it high waisted, it's like mid calf for me. I'm 5'5". Five five. Now we've got this jungle print skirt. Let's see, this says a size 10. It's got not a zipper, but buttons on the side. I think this would probably fit me. So a six or so got the brown leaf, kind of boho, very earthy, super cute skirt. I'll style more of these, some on the mannequin, some on myself, so you can kind of see it on. Then we've got, oh my gosh, who remembers this brand? Where was this, was this Honors? Was this Target? I can't remember. I do remember seeing that though. So oversized sweater, v-neck, it's just black, 
pretty basic. Um, I mean, I'd say up to extra large at least. In the back. Okay, now we have a dress. Probably should have just focused on sweaters for winter, but no big deal. How cute is this? So it has like this uh, cape, faux cape overlay that goes to the back. And then in the front, you can tie at the neckline. It's sleeveless, but then this cape kind of comes over the shoulder to help cover that. A beautiful pink color with a little bit of sheen. I'd say like a dusty rose, full length. It does have a little bit of elastic in the waist and then a slit in the front. This would actually be a really pretty um, bridesmaid's dress. I think so. Then here's the back. You can kind of see how it, the cape falls down the back. Gosh, that's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Okay, then your classic graphic sweater. This is so cute. Look at that design on there. So kind of a bat wing almost. You can see that design on there. And then on the back, it's just plain black. I would say probably medium. And then after these are listed, well, I mean, after the thrift haul, they'll be available in shop. So I'm going to open the trailer up um, at least monthly so you can come and shop vintage. And like I said, I can ship pretty much anything, especially clothes and stuff like that. Okay, so this says medium. I would say small, but yeah, I'd probably say small. So it's got this oversized turtleneck. Hey, Vanessa. Just this kind of oatmeal color. It looks like there's, I'm trying to see. So it's 35% silk, uh, rami acrylic, 10% rabbit hair, 5% lamb's wool. So this is pretty soft and it's gonna be pretty warm too. I'd say it'd probably look best on a small, but very cute. Okay, so we've got another sweater here. Sweaters and jackets are like my go-tos. Okay, so look at that detailing on there. This is pretty, this looks like it's got a, kind of like a balloon sleeve almost. You could almost wear it off the shoulder, but it definitely has like a wider neckline. It's got the same detail on the back. I love those balloon sleeves. So if you like push them up a little bit, they just get really puffy. Super cute. It doesn't have a tag. So this might also be handmade. It's pretty soft. It doesn't feel like it's wool. I'd say probably acrylic and maybe something else like the rabbit's hair and the other one because it's pretty soft. But I'll show you that detail again on the front. It's the same detail on the back, too. Okay, then we've got this blazer. It looks like it probably went to a set, but I just have the blazer. Okay, so shoulder pads. This looks probably 70s. Shoulder pads. And then buttons all the way down the front, pockets. Uh, faux buttons on the sleeve. This is like a, it's not really like a checkerboard, but without it filled in. It's cream with orange line detail. And then on the back, 
This one almost looks linen because it's got the little nuts. Actually, it's red. The lines on it are red, not orange. And polyester silk cotton. So I was wrong, but it does kind of have like little nubs, which I would assume are probably from the silk. I mean, it would probably, well, the shoulders look a little small for me. So probably someone a little bit more petite with smaller shoulders, small or medium. All right, 80s, here's some fuchsia. Okay, so we've got a fuchsia sweater dress. What size does this say? So it's acrylic. small or medium. I mean, I think this would fit me pretty good. So it's got a v-neck, no extra details, just kind of a plain fuchsia sweater dress. So there's the front, it hits me almost mid-calf, five thigh. It does have a little bit of stretch to it too. Now, got some shorts. I would probably distress these a little bit and or roll the cuffs. I mean, I think these could be really cute. They're high-waisted, light wash, they're Lee. Let's see what the tag says as far as size, 28. I don't think it would fit me. So they are a little small. It doesn't have the tag there, the leather tag, but these are Lee. Denim shorts. Okay, then we've got three kind of similar tops. I might be stealing one of these. So it looks super small, but it's got a lot of stretch to it turtleneck, um, kind of a camel color, uh, probably a half sleeve. The sleeves are rolled and then they have these little buttons on them. So this would be a good top like with those loose fitting trousers because this is a little bit more form fitting. Again, look at that stretch. Um, probably small or medium turtleneck, lined or ribbed. And then we've got a couple other tops that are pretty similar. So this is an olive green one, more of a mock turtleneck, full length sleeves. And this does have the ribbing as well. This says small, well, I'd say small or medium, depending on how you wanted it to fit. And then this cream one, it's almost the exact same as that other one. The ribbing cream color. This one still has tags on it. So it's brand new. Let's see. So that's cute. Okay, now we've got, we're almost to the end of this round. Um, acrylic cardigan. Let me hold the shoulders here. Oh my gosh, this is cute. So it's got buttons down the front, three buttons there. You can kind of see that detail on that and then the longer sleeves. It's more of a cropped fit. And of course, like with cardigans, you can wear them open so they will be a little bit more roomy in size. It's kind of a more boxy fit. That's cute. All right, we've got a skirt here. This one may not be totally vintage, actually. This is a Talbot's, though. Talbot's new with tags, 58 new. So it's size six. I'd say that's fairly true, maybe even a little smaller. 
but it's a white denim with a skirt. Super cute. Almost kind of a nautical nod with the blue. These are um, buttons that come undone if you need a little looser back pockets. That's cute. And then skirt. This one's new with tags too. So it's got the elastic waist. Be really cute with a graphic tee or just a fitted tank top with a cardigan over it or a blazer. I mean, it's a pretty versatile piece. Nice flowy movement. I'd say probably small or medium. I cannot say no to a coat. So it's black on the outside, a little bit of camel here on the inside, and then lined. Let's see if I can just put this on. Okay, so this fits me pretty good. I do have a little bit wider of shoulders, so it is a little tight for me in the shoulders. But it's got the top buttons up here, so it does stay open down here for walking. Pockets that always have Kleenex in them. You could even do just like one button here and leave that open. Let's see what this looks like with that scarf. So we've got this and then with these boots, oh my gosh, yes please, super cute. Let me see if this jacket is, well it's nice and thick, so we'll have the slits in the back, it doesn't look like it, let's see here. So I'd say small or medium. Um, or anything but it does have an extra button on the inside still so super cute all right guys that's pretty much oh it does have this little clip on the inside so if you didn't want that collar open and you wanted it all the way up to kind of cover your neck it could do that too so you like to have a high neck on there all right so that's my thrift for this week I will be doing another thrift haul next week. Feel free to holler or claim anything that you saw today, or if you want to just know more details on fit or size or anything, be happy to share that too. So appreciate you guys being on here, and I hope you have an amazing day. Let's see if I can figure out how to get off of here. And how do I get off of here? Gosh, Facebook. You've changed. There we go. All right. Have a good day.